Hi, this is Colin from Sandy Audio Visual here at Capitol Hill Seventh Day Adventist Church, and the crew here I volunteer ooh, once a month uh, when I can. Um, we're trying to learn how to green screen on a new tech TriCaster. So the question they asked me were, well, what are the steps in setting up a green screen? And you'll see here that we have um, folks working on putting up a green screen. All right. And we have a virtual set. And I'm pretty much just going to talk through uh, what are the steps to do it. So, of course, step number one is, well, put up your green screen. And that could be anything from a painted green wall to green piece of fabric to an actual green screen you bought off of um, the internet or from your favorite reseller, um, what have you. And of course, it doesn't actually have to be green, but that garish, you know, psychedelic, super bright green that no one would ever really be caught dead wearing is usually what we try to key to. Hollywood tends to like to use blue um, for whatever reason. I'm sure there's papers and scientists and physics behind that. But in any event, um, green is what we got. So, number one, put up your green screen. Number two, light it well. Sometimes you don't have a lot of control over your light, especially, you know, this the church here, it's a fixed installation. You can't mess with the lights too much because, of course, the next um, weekend you're going to have your pastor speak again and you kind of want to make sure he's lit and not the background. But um, the main thing is put it up, number one. Number two, light it well. Okay, so now once we've put it up and once we've lit it well, um, we want to find a camera and find some sort of system that will key out the image, right? Now, again, we're using the New Tech TriCaster. So, okay. So here we have the image tab and I'll come out, right? We'll come here to the little cog, right? here on cam 2 click that all right and unclick this all right and you can see up here that you know that turned back green so i'm going to put cam 2 on preview all right so you have a better look at it you can see the green screens here crumpled up you know they haven't put it on the uh, stand yet right but the first step you do here is come to oh uh, if you missed that i'll come to it again go to the camera preview Go to the settings here, signified by this cog wheel for setup. Click on that. You then go to the image tab, right? And you'll see a sub tab under the image tab that says keying, right? When you hover over the color box here, you'll see what looks like um, an eyedropper tool, right? Click the left mouse button and hold it down. Click it, hold it down. As you drag, you'll see that that box sucks in the color of anything the tip of this color tool or this uh, eyedropper tool goes over. Anything on your screen, anywhere. It could even be on the multi-viewer, right? It's going, in fact, I usually tell people use the multi-viewer because you'll get a bigger image for your key, right? So here we have, so I'm gonna let it go here and you'll see that that black or the green was in fact keyed out. All right. Now, you, you may be wondering what do all these other things mean? So tolerance is from zero to 100%. That means how much of a value am I going to put to the left and to the right of that pixel? that pixel color, that green, you know, is it gonna be greener than this green? Is it gonna be redder than this green, right? Is it gonna be bluer than this green? Now, what, how much tolerance? If it's at zero, that means it has to be exactly this RGB value, 99, 151, 72. So that much red, that much green, that much blue, right? And a tolerance of 0% means your lighting is absolutely perfect. Here you see it at 22%, right? 
So that's how you set up your basic key. Your smoothness is kind of how that falls off. And then the luminous, uh, how much um, brightness you're gonna have there. Spill suppression can be important when you have someone who's standing too close to your green screen. And again, the tolerance and the smoothing acts sort of like how the keying is um, up at the top, right? So the spill suppression kind of, um, what is spill? Spill is when you have too much light on your green screen and that green spills over onto your subject and they actually become part of the green screen. So they'll start to disappear, all right? So that, that's the long and short of it. Put up your green screen, light it well, take the color dropper, the eyedropper tool to suck out the color of your green screen, play with the settings until it looks like your subject doesn't disappear or that they have too much spill of green on them so that the edges aren't crisp and it looks like, you know, they're disappearing in a Star Trek transport or what have you. And, um, you know, tweak to perfection. It's best to get, number one, the right kind of green screen, one that isn't super wrinkled, very reflective, so cloth, felt, um, you know, have a nice soft light on it. It's better to put up a green screen that's lit properly and easier than it is to play with the settings to try to get it right after the fact. But the keyer on the TriCaster is very good. Um, the keyer on the um, the ATEMs, the new ATEMs, like so the ATEM Mini has an excellent keyer. The um, Production Studio 4K has an excellent keyer. Of course, Ultimate is an excellent keyer. And keying after the fact, like if you're keying in Resolve or you're keying in Final Cut Pro or Premiere, is a lot easier because you can throw a lot more computational power on the key, right, to figure out what pixel is supposed to be where, right, where that key is actually supposed to, you know, the tracing, where it's supposed to be, when it's not in real time. But this has to be done real time and live. So, you know, there's only so much processing power you can affordably put to the task, right? So you want to light your green screen, especially for live stuff, light it as good as you can if you don't want to do the key in post, All right? So hopefully that helps and that'll put you on your way practice and your key will come out perfectly. Again, this is Colin from Sandy Audiovisual. Take it easy.